uh, this is kind of like a multi, multi-scale hierarchy, almost like music, and it led to this uh, general idea of a multi-scale hierarchy where we start from the neuron. Now, most neuroscientists would go uh, this way to larger uh, networks of, of, of neurons and, and regions of the brain and so forth, and that still is valid, but we also want to go downward into the microtubule the uh, rows of tubulin, the individual dipoles, and eventually down to space-time geometry, as Roger showed, at much, much smaller scales. And here are the cell-similar patterns seen at, uh, at terahertz, gigahertz, megahertz, kilohertz, and hertz. And anesthesia seems to work here in the uh, terahertz range. And I'll come back to that point. So uh, we wanted to test sensitivity of microtubule quantum processes to anesthesia and also psychedelics. And, uh, and also show how orca work can account for EEG. So the easiest way, uh, in my opinion, to test uh, for a model of consciousness is how, how does it respond to anesthesia? And during the 19th century, a group of gases were discovered which when inhaled at low concentrations caused euphoria. So these are ether frolics, guys uh, uh, sniffing ether and getting high and giddy and dancing around and also laughing gas, nitrous oxide was very popular. And, uh, uh, the, but when you go to a higher concentration, these are low concentrations, higher concentrations, these rendered uh, humans and animals uh, unresponsive and unconscious. The blank slide, actually there was supposed to be another slide there, but never mind. Um, <clears throat> So subsequent studies showed that the anesthetic gases spared non-conscious brain activity. So con uh, anesthesia is fairly selective at, at, at inhibiting only consciousness, non-conscious activity, evoke potentials. We use evoke potentials under anesthesia to monitor spinal cord integrity and so forth. So the brain is still active under anesthesia. The only thing that's really gone is consciousness. Um, also, the, the gases uh, had, uh, the anesthetic gases uh, had different potencies and required to render uh, subjects unresponsive. But for each gas, uh, the potency for any animal studied was, was the same. At equilibrium, it would take the same amount of any anesthetic to put you or I to sleep, an an uh, a, a, a giraffe, an elephant, a fruit fly, a salamander, all have pretty much the same uh, MAC, a minimal alveolar concentration required. That's still pretty amazing. Uh, that, that, that consciousness and anesthesia are, are matched so well so that um, uh, you, you, it applies equally to all organisms. 